Hi guys, Brian here, and today I wanted to give you my quick impressions of the Tamashi Effect Burning Flame effect part that they uh, they sell. And I have obviously two versions of it, the blue version and the red version. And I gotta say, these are awesome. I love these. These definitely add a whole bunch of dynamic and, and motion and intensity to a, a, a scene of figures. To, to a display of figures. That, and I also can use them for Dungeons and Dragons, because if I grab a D&D style miniature, although that's actually a, for a superhero game, granted they're huge flames in comparison to a mini, but it's still flames for that. But anyway, main point of them is for figure displays. Now, they come in the blue and the red, obviously, but there are these three big pieces, and each of these, well, not each of these, two of these big pieces, not this one. This one is one solid piece. These other two are two individual pieces, and they have a ball joint that they can move and separate on. So, bam. This piece in particular, I find to be rather frustrating because it's, this is how it was actually came in packaging, I believe. Actually, that's a good question. I don't remember if they came packaged like this, but they're obviously intended to be together. Um, and this piece, I'm not a fan of because it's like going out wide, and I don't really love that. I don't know, it just looks weird. And in combination with this base, it tends to be back heavy and falls easily. So in order to counteract that, I often have to have it pushed fall far forward, and it's just kind of looks a little weirder to me don't love that so basically my issue is with this piece don't love this piece still like it it just takes some uh more finesse to use than i wanted this guy though and yes i have tried swapping the uh tops of these and it still has the same issue of falling backwards this guy is kind of cool in that he's very much a tendril of fire. And the base for this guy looks awesome. I, I think this base looks cooler than that base. And it's pretty cool. And yes, I have indeed swapped out the uh, colors on some of these. Because, hey, fire turn it is blue when it's hotter and then it cools down to different colors. Don't think that effect quite works, but another part that comes with these guys are these little smaller flame effects that have little clamps on them. Now, as you probably noticed in like my cell video, I clamp these around cells legs and they are pretty wide and so they have some flex, but they are two separate pieces or at least most of these. I think they're all two separate pieces. I haven't fully confirmed that for everything. I think I see the seam there, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Basically, I'm concerned about stretching these guys out as I put uh, them around something that is bigger than this hole. But worst case scenario, if I break it and, and snap that at that joint, I think, I'm pretty sure some super glue will probably be able to fix that. I'm not super concerned about it. They seem to be rather pliable. And they've got each four different uh, little versions of the uh, clamping fire. And these are awesome. And one of the cool things is having two sets of these, even in two different colors, uh, you can kind of... I, I worry about repeated patterns because the eyes tend to recognize repeated patterns. So if I have two pieces that are exactly the same, even if they're in different colors, your eye might very easily go, huh, see, that, that's how it's falling back. I have to move that forward to get it to fall, to stay up. Your eye might go, huh, that's the same effect, just in different colors. But I've noticed, well, or a new little uh, trick I've started doing is grabbing some of these flame bits and slapping it onto one of these guys. And that. And that breaks up the silhouette, so now they don't look identical again, anymore. And that gives me some variety that I can do with that. But hey, actually now that I think about it, let's go ahead and show you something slapped onto that. I happen to have Vegeta sitting right here. And Vegeta, 
Your arm is on fire now. Bam. That actually looks rather painful, but it definitely looks like a more dynamic scene than uh, he was just a moment ago without it. Just in this pose, having that fire there. Then I can grab another little piece here and let's go around his knee, which is a little bit thinner. Grab another piece and let's uh, raise his arm. Let's grab another piece and slap it on his arm in a strange position, apparently. Instantly, much more dynamic scene. Like, Vegeta's having a bad day, it looks like. So I love these. So yeah, I think I would say that if Tamashi decided to release like a pack of, say, 12 different versions, or 12 different variants of fire in this style, like, you know, C-clamp, fire effects, I think I would be tempted to buy those. These C-clamp fire effects have actually been like one of the coolest things about these flame effects to me. I See, I bought them originally basically for this, so that I can go like, hey, Vegeta, you're powering up, yay, because I need effects to show you're powering up. Something big and grandiose. But the subtle guys, I always underestimate the subtle guys. Well, maybe I don't, but I underestimated the subtle guys. The... I dropped it. These little flame effects just are small little things that can change the dynamic of a scene. Like, let's grab cogwheel here. No. Yeah, this is cogwheel. Trash talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can slap this thing on the end of his barrel and hey, he just fired it. S small, subtle things can make this whole scene feel a little different. So, that's basically my opinion on these guys. They're awesome. If you want any sort of dynamic added to any sort of figure scene, I highly recommend them. I am super tempted to buy more of these guys because the more, more is better in this case. So there's my opinion on them, guys. Let me know what you think. Am I overdoing it with the flame effects? Have I uh, oversaturated it? Are I not doing too much of them? Let me know what you guys think. Bye.